Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We didn't show you that you something you never seen in your life. You believe that Jesus Christ was a white man all your life, but they never read it to you out the Bible. They never showed you in the Bible that Jesus Christ is a white man. You got to think about that. You got to question that. How do I know he white? Just because they made a movie and, and made Jesus Christ white? Wake him up. Just because they got a picture saying that Jesus Christ is a white man, you believe it? Hey, what's your nationality? Caucasian. Right, so what we're reading is the, the color of Jesus Christ. Watch this, watch this. Book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs are white like wool. So y'all believe in the Bible, right? Did y'all know that Jesus Christ was a black man, according to the Bible? But they taught that he was, they taught us that he was a white man, but when you read the Bible, tells you that he's a black man according to the scriptures right so that's what we came out to teach because when you read it john the bible says that ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free so for all these years we've been lied to and taught that jesus christ was a white man but now we got to come out here and teach the truth of the bible read it again his head and his hairs were white like wool uh -huh. as white as snow so jesus christ got white woolly hair it's the truth has to be taught in the streets because the truth has not been taught. Through slavery, through our oppression, we was taught lies. I got a question though. They changed our nationality from Judah to American black. Was it black like him or black like you? Who? Jesus Christ? Yes. We're gonna finish reading. So first, they say that he got white woolly hair, right? White woolly hair, the hair on his head and the hair on his beard, it was white and woolly. Meaning the texture is woolly, like curly hair. You understand? We all know black people got woolly hair. Right? And right. his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So the Bible says that Jesus Christ's skin was so dark, it looked like he burned in a furnace. Bring it out. So contrary to popular belief, Jesus the Christ is a black man. That's right. Hey, did you know that Jesus Christ was a black man? Did you know the prophets in the Bible was black? The people that wrote the Bible look like you, black man. That's right. And a lot of you don't want to believe in the Bible because you say it's a white man book. Right. You say the white man wrote it. You think God ain't got enough power to put a book on earth so you can learn who you are in the last days? That's right. He's the all omnipotent power. Hey, brother. Hey, bro. Hey, look. Come here. Let me show you something right quick. What we just... Can I show you this, this uh, image real quick? So God is a, so Jesus Christ is a black man and God, his father, is a black man. That's in the Bible. We just read that Jesus Christ, the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white and woolly. We read that Jesus Christ's skin was so dark, it looked like he burned in the furnace. Right. You ain't gonna learn this in Sunday school. You ain't gonna learn this in your Christian church. All they gonna teach you is how to sing and dance. That's it. They ain't gonna read you the word of God. They're not gonna teach you how to get salvation. No. It's best that you come up here and learn the Bible. All those questions that you got for your pastor that you're afraid to ask because he ain't gonna ask them, we gonna answer them questions according to this Bible. We got the answers, brothers and sisters. We got the answers. And a lot of you need to know what? Imagery. Imagery is very important. You need to know your identity. You need to know who these people is in the Bible and what color they were. We got to man up as, as black men, as so-called black men. We got to come back to this Bible as the Israelites. Who going to teach our people in the way that they should go? Who else going to do it if we don't do it? Ain't nobody else going to stand up for us. It take you and it take me. You know. That's what's going to uh, bring our people together. Nobody else. Read it again. 
his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace. So who we reading about? This is a black man the Bible talking about. Check it out, bro. Let me show you something right quick. Let me show you something on this side right here. It's about time we as black men stand up like our ancestors did. You had Fred Hampton stand up. You had yeah. Malcolm X stand up. Bring it up. Martin Luther King tried to stand up and give us liberation. Bring it up. Marcus Garvey tried to stand up to give us liberation. Bring it up. You even had sisters stand up and try to give us liberation to bring Jeez. freedom to our people. Right. Roads apart. You sister got a very important role to play in this truth too. Don't think you left out. Hey, come here real quick. I want to show you something. Come here. Pull it right here. Check it out right quick. I want to show you something on this side. This is the most important information you're going to learn in your life. We just read in the Bible that Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. Did you know that Jesus Christ was a black man? You didn't know that? We didn't show you that you something you've never seen in your life. You believe that Jesus Christ was a white man all your life, but they never read it to you out the Bible. They never showed you in the Bible that Jesus Christ is a white man. You, know. you got to think about that. You got to question that. How do I know he white? Just because they made a movie and, and made Jesus Christ white? Wake him up. Just because they got a picture saying that Jesus Christ is a white man, you believed it? All right, so I'm going to read it again. 15, 14, 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. So the Bible said that Jesus Christ got white woolly hair. Hey, bro, look at this image right here. Jesus Christ got white woolly hair. What people on the earth got woolly textured hair? Black people. Google woolly hair. It's going to show you black people with afros. Jesus Christ got white woolly hair. Read. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes was a flame of fire. So Jesus Christ had red eyes. Why did Jesus Christ have red eyes? Because he drunk wine in moderation. That's right. The first miracle that Jesus Christ did when you read in John chapter 2, he turned water into wine. Watch this. Watch this. And his feet. So John looked down at Jesus' feet. He said, in his feet, like unto fine brass. So what color is brass? Brass is a derivative of brown. That's right. So if I look at somebody's feet, and I say, this brother got brown feet, I know for sure his legs is brown. I know for sure his, the rest of when you come up his body, the rest of his body is brown. Right. It says, and his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So they say Jesus Christ was so dark, it looked like he burned in a furnace. That's a black man according to the Bible. You don't read the, uh, the Jesus, the image that they gave us today, saying that Jesus Christ is a white man. That's not in the Bible. Give me Job chapter 30, verse 30. Hey, bro, did you ever, did anybody ever show you that before? Huh? You, do you got to understand it? Watch this. I'm going to show you something else. Watch this. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. Bring it up. My skin is black upon me. Did anybody ever read that scripture to you, bro? He said, my skin is black upon me. The white man did not write this book. If he wrote the book, he would have took that out. Say it again. This is the King James Version Bible. The King James Version Bible. Job said, my skin is black upon me. Let's read it again. My skin is black upon me. That's Job chapter 30, verse 30. You can read it for yourself. Let's get another one. Let's Wake up. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. Judah mourning. So we're talking about the Jews. The Bible said the Jews are in mourning. Read. And the gates thereof languish. Uh -huh. They are black. What color are the Jews? Are black. What color are the Jews? Black. So the Bible says that the Jews are black. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Write it down. Go and read it. Remember, the Bible says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the truth is, the people that wrote the Bibles is your ancestors. This is a black man's book. But they 
took our heritage from us. In slavery, they made us think that we was black. They made us think that we was niggas and African Americans. But according to the Bible, you are a Jew. You are the real Jew, brother. Yeah, that's right. The Bible says the Jews are black unto the ground. Let me get another one, Jeremiah. Let's get that one. The book, the Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 1. So Solomon, you heard of Solomon? Solomon was King David's son. You heard of King David, he slew Goliath with a stone? Let's see what color King David's son was. Watch this. Uh, verse 5, I am black. What did he say? I am black, but comely. So Solomon said, I'm black and I'm beautiful. That's right. That's what comely means. I'm black and handsome. You understand that, brother? Solomon wrote four books in the Bible. We read that Jeremiah was a black man. He wrote two books in the Bible. Hey, brother, did you know that? Hey, look, let me read this scripture to you. Come here real quick. Come here. I'm going to read. I want to show you something else, though. Come back over here when you're done. Hey, brother, you hear what we reading? Did you write these scriptures down? Jeremiah, Solomon, was a black man. Jesus Christ was a black man. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.